hello i hope everyone's having a great week um actually today my internship was closed due to snow um so i did a little bit from home um but other than that it's been good so this week i wanted to touch upon emotional um attachment detachment issues um i had a really hard time emotionally yesterday about one of my clients so she's 13 years old um, just a few months ago, November, she was kidnapped by her mother, um, brought to a different state, and was found in a basement next to a level three sex offender. Um, and if that's not traumatic enough, I got an email yesterday saying that she found, so she lives with her, her aunt, um, and I got an email yesterday saying she found her grandfather um, in the basement. He hung himself. Um, so he committed suicide. And my client at 13 years old um, from November to now has been through all of that. Um, so there's an ongoing investigation with her aunt. So she's placed at, um, it's called the Key Program. So it's just pretty much a a program for girls that are there for various reasons. For her, it's um, kind of a holding place until they find um, a more a better fit placement with another relative or a um, foster home, and they're trying to keep her and her um, two sisters together, which is a little bit trickier um so my question is really about how to like i read that email and then 10 minutes later i had to be in a group so my question is how to best cope with hearing news and kind of holding it with your client and going to work with other kids and not letting it show um you know i still had to put a smile on this and that i talked to the program director um this after school program that she's in with me i talked to the director um and she said i'm also having a really hard time with this um this client has support but her support is me, her individual therapist, uh, this program supervisor, her DCF worker, um, and it just makes me sad because I feel like every child deserves um, a family support system, and that's not something that is really accessible to her right now, and so this program director and I we kind of processed it, processed it together and with um, other supervisors, which I do think was helpful. But um, in the in the position I'm in as an intern and in an outpatient clinic, there's not really anything else that I can do to help her. I spoke with her. DCF worker yesterday. I spoke with her again today. We've been in close contact. She's been really good about giving me updates, um, keeping me in the loop about what's happening with her. But she's just, at 13 years old, she's been through more than most people go through in their lifetime. So I just wanted to know how you guys handle that hearing traumatic news, going to work with other clients within a half hour's time. It's something that I have been struggling with because I have a lot of high crisis kids and that are in really challenging situations. So if you could give me any feedback, uh, I do self care, but it's more of detaching myself from the agency and then coming home and trying to 
think about other things, not get upset, etc. Um, yeah, have a great rest of your week.